Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter here inside Fair Park Coliseum in Dallas, Texas. Ten point lead for Team Sims. Now, if you've been following along since the beginning, third year of Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball, 60 points awarded to the team that wins each quarter. Each individual player racks up 60 points for their individual leaderboard score. You're probably thinking, well, they tied. Then what? Those 60 points carry over into the fourth quarter, which means 120 leaderboard points are on the line for the team that wins the quarter. Not to mention 180 to each player if you win the game. So doing my math, Cheryl, I took my time and <laughs> carried the one. <laughs> 300 points on the line, just when you're talking winning the basketball game, the quarter yeah. and the game. 120 for the quarter. Plus 180. And 180. You're so good. That's a I lot of points. I carried my one, too. 300 points is a lot of points. And can change so much to cause all the shuffles in the leaderboard. Grace Berger hit that three-point shot just before the quarter closed. And just a 10-point game overall. McCray for three, well short, plays on the hustle. Outlet to Hull. And last touched by Burrell. Shot clock at 11 seconds, it did reset. Well, you know, every, every time Team Hull, when every time they seem to get close and get over that hump, Team Sims, they turn up the defense, they find a way to get some easy buckets. And when you talk about defense, Team Hull, they have 16 turnovers. And Team Sims has 26 points off of the turnovers. So that and 38 to 10 bench points is a big difference in the game. Cooper and Burrell with 17 combined. Angel McCautry with nine points in 12 minutes. 27. Right, Cooper, Cooper and Burrell. Right? Yep. Yeah. 27 and then, and combined. Then and then has nine. Yeah. Yep. Just got to look at the leaderboard. That is the overall board for all four teams. Alicia Gray and Tiffany Mitchell. They are neck and neck on the board. If you missed it, Tiffany Mitchell was awarded MVP one. Three individual MVP honors handed out after each game. Team Gray, clean slate. They swept the board with all orange uniform players scoring MVP points. Gray MVP two following her MVP one on Thursday. And Natasha Cloud consecutive game with an MVP. Eight point game. Kalani Brown kept the ball high and finishes and one. That is the key when Kalani Brown, any post player, when you catch the ball in the paint, keep the ball high as Kalani Brown does here. She catches it, she keeps it high, protects it from the defense, and is able to draw the foul. And that's nice, Kalani. And so many times, post players, when they catch it, they'll bring it down or they'll put it on the floor to make a move, and they'll. Mean little pesky guards will come in there slapping the ball out of your hand. <laughs> Kalani did a nice job of keeping the ball high that time. Just take a look right at that window and bank it right in. Plaisance swings it. Open three is true for Mincy. Mincy. It's a big shot, Lauren Mincy. To answer the end one, to cut it back to eight, and Team Hall leads the quarter. 5-3, again, 120 quarter points on the line because the third quarter was tied. Brown, same spot, this time got hit and hammered from behind, two at the free throw line. And Lauren Mincy doing everything she can do to keep Team Hall in this game. Just stepping back, nice stroke, hitting it from deep. Team Sims right now, obviously, that's two plays in the row. They have decided they're going to go inside to Kalani on the block because they feel like that's where they have an advantage. And if someone comes in for a double, which Lexi Hall tried to do that time, she's going to kick it out and find a shooter wide open. Got to say, impressed with Team Sims, Odyssey also found some great free throw shooters. 
<laughs> yes, she did. 16 of 18 Thursday. Tonight, 17 of 19. And we talk about the players that played really well for Team Sims the other night. We've talked about Burrell and, and, and Cooper, and Kalani Brown had a nice double-double also, 12 points and 10 boards. Seven points, just one rebound tonight, five of five at the line, though. Just her presence alone, boxing others out, creates opportunities at six foot seven. Brown faces up, plays on, throws a hand up, rebound Berger. Watch, I'm gonna say, watch. Like two plays in a row, she got on the block, they found her on the block, she scored, drew a foul, went to the free throw line, then they come down, they're feeding you again. Don't step away from the block. Not saying she can't hit that, but they, they can't guard her on the block right now. Burrell crossover three, rebound plays on. So two jumpers, and this is allowing Team Hall to get wind at their sails. Berger with 14 points. Makes it possibly 17. No, Mincy offensive board. And it's Lexi Hall, the only player on Team Hall crashing the offensive glass, and she gets a hand on it. Hall penetrates, swings it out. Berger, kick it. Carson, three. Another Rebound. offensive rebound. Good Cheryl Rebound. and one. Come on, Lexi. Come on, Lexi. That is determination. That is, let me put my team on my back. This is my squad. Let me get it done. I see you, Lexi Hall. She just went up and snatched that out of the air. Coming down and shot it and finished and won. That's captain-esque. Lexi Hall, 16 points. Perfect seven of seven at the line. Seven boards, three assists, three blocks, two steals. Reminder, you get more points at home for your leaderboard for offensive rebounds. Five of her seven rebounds are offensive boards. Ten for O boards, five for D boards. Plaisance rips it. Five point game, seven minutes to go. And she's not just getting it done on the offensive end. She's also making things happen on the defensive end for her squad. All skip pass over the outstretched hands of Berger. Had the right notion. Team Hall winning the quarter 10-5. This was a similar start to the third. They cut it to five, eventually four. And then Odyssey came back in and said, let me get this thing back under control. Off that time, batted out to her. Sims, yes, and the foul. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bashar Graves crashing the offensive glass, tapping it out to Odyssey, giving her a second opportunity to finish. Great tap out, Odyssey attacking the basket. And one. Not much contact, but enough for the ref to call a foul. Sims, the fourth member of her team, to reach double figures. Entry, Haley Jones. That post work is maturing. That's nice. Haley Jones been a little quiet since the first quarter. Mm. So she can find a way to get it going in this fourth quarter for Team Hall. Welcome back. Bell, there's the shot fake. Mm -hmm. And the swish. Mm -hmm. She said, I do more than shoot three. You've been wishing for more of that, and that's coming to fruition today. That's nice. Gotta sell it a little bit. Carson reels it in, finds Hull. Plaisance, just getting a hand on it. Shot fake, bucket. <laughs> Do you talk to Listen. all 40 of these athletes? I don't know, but three, three attempts for Team Hull on that possession. Yes. Ultimately, they're gonna find a way to score the basketball. But a nice shot fake gets the defender in the air every time. Lexi Hull able to put it on the floor. Nice pull up jumper. Now 14 offensive rebounds for Team Hull. And, and, and Kirsten Bell says, no, I don't just shoot threes. Taya Cooper, nice job finding Bell. Good shot fake, Essence Carson in the air. Nice two. 
Grace Berger finding Lexi Hall. Nice pass fake. One dribble pull up. It's good. A pass fake, shot fake, ball fake, jab fake, head fake. Gonna get the defender in the air every time. Well, if they keep this up and stay true to that as we hit the halfway point of the fourth, maybe they can wear out Team Sims. They are on the precipice of breaking through. Down by six. Contested nice. jumper, Berger. Up to 16 points. Nice, Grace Berger. I have the pace that she plays with. Doesn't get sped up. Bell can't answer. Reminder, midway second quarter, Team Sims built a 19-point lead. Team Hall up six in the quarter. Haley Jones. Ooh, that would have been tough. That nice little scoop shot from Haley Jones. Odyssey going up against the first year captain. Brushes the hair back. In the lane. Can't bank it home. Numbers here for Team Hall. Lexi spots up. Cash got the friendly bounce. It's a one point game. 7 0 run. I mean, when we spoke to Taj Cole and we asked for the emergence of Lexi Hall, she's answered the call. 22 points. Yeah, I don't know if Lexi heard Taj, if she heard me, if she heard her teammates. I don't know who she heard, but somebody said, Lexi Hall, go do what you do and shoot the ball. Team Hall has not led tonight. Another shot fake. Berger for the lead. Woo. Rebound to Cooper. Three and a half to play. Kirsten Bell dashes in. Roars. Kirsten Bell fierce. That's nice. That's tough, KB. Big time shot. A chance to cap off the three point play when we come back. Team Hall right back in this thing, Cheryl Swoops. Le Lexi Hall's just getting it done for her squad. Grace Berger pushing in transition. Lexi Hall is good for three. You gotta love it. We got a good game, y'all. Lexi Hall talked to us in the layup lines before the game, and all we discussed, Lexi said after that loss on Thursday to Team Gray, let's get stops. And they have made it difficult, Cheryl, for Team Sims to counter their punches. Yeah, everything that Lexi Hall just said coming out of that timeout is a sign of a really good leader. She, first five minutes are crucial. One play at a time. That's what you got to do to get back in this game. But it's just a three-point game. And then the biggest thing she said was nothing easy for Odyssey because they know when the game is on the line, that's where the ball is going to go to Odyssey soon. Kirsten Bell couldn't cap off the three-point play. Three-point lead. Let's welcome in Ari Chambers. You were in on the huddle for Team Sims. What do we know? I sure was. You you were talking about how they said they don't want to make anything easy for Odyssey. But Odyssey was in there in the huddle screaming. We don't want to make anything easy for them. You saw Team Hall pick up the momentum and get good looks to the basket. Odyssey said we have got to stop that. She's also really emphatic on saying boss out, box out. That was her main call out in the huddle. And so we should expect that coming up. It makes sense, Cheryl. 14-0 boards for Team Hall. Those second chance opportunities have killed Team Sims. Yeah, all right. I understand why Odyssey was saying that. We're sitting here so we can hear some of the stuff she was saying. But several possessions, Team Hall, they got three, four opportunities at an offensive, uh, offensive rebound. Team Sims with the ball. Up three in the game, under three to go. Nice pass inside. Bashara Graves, just her second field goal. And that play happened because Odyssey Sims has the ball in her hands 
Screen comes. They're doubling Odyssey. She pulls it out away from the screen. Bashara Graves cut into the basket for easy do. Lexi Hall through two defenders and one. Now 12 points in the fourth quarter for Lexi Hall. Come on, Lexi. Come on, Lexi. I see it. But Odyssey Sims coming back out. You know the ball is going to be in her hands. Nice job of dragging it out of that screen. Bashar Graves cut into the basket for two. And Lexi Hall splitting two defenders, keeping it high. You see it, ref. And Lexi Hall, I like it. I like the little swag she's playing with right now. We talked about this early on. They did not have their best night. Races for her own miss at the line. It's a one possession game. Look, Team Gray, Team Sims had great opening nights. Y you have nights like that. And Lexi has settled in to week one without question. 24 points. This, this is the Lexi hole that we all saw last year. She came back and said, what I did in game one, that's not me. Lexi finished eighth on the leaderboard. Hebert, the floater, smooth. Come on, big girl. Come on, big girl. But you got to pick the ball up. You can't let anybody get the ball and dribble that deep in the paint before you pick them up and try to defend them. Nice runner. Hebert, I see you, big girl. Team Hall's only lead tonight, 12-8, with about six minutes left. Hebert, the stuff. 141 to play, Team Sims with the ball, just six on the shot clock. Again, Odyssey Sims is gonna keep the ball in her hands, but Ruthie Hebert doing a nice job of using her link. Nobody, she got all that up top. Mm -hmm. Bell catch and finish, mm -hmm. execution on the inbounds play. Sims to Bell. Still just a three-point game. Berger has been a sniper tonight. Two of three from deep, draws two. Wide open player, Heber couldn't believe it and puts it home. I, I mean, she couldn't believe it. She's like, I can't be this wide open. Chubb was like, no, you don't have to play fake. There's no defense there. Back to a one-point game. Odyssey Sims, it is closing time. Pull up jumper, it's short. Carson there to rescue the ball. Team Hall looking for their first lead since the first quarter. Hebert is swarmed on the deck. Bell and Sims in there for the gold squad. Oh, Ruthie Hebert was trying to attack the basket on that one. It is a jump ball coming up. Neither team is over the limit, looking at the fouls is to catch folks up to speed. We know it's a one point game for the entire game. 180 points to each individual on the winning team, but also the quarter, which remember we tied in the third quarter, 24-24. Those points carry over, 120 on the line. There's a chance for Team Hall to rack up 300 and come all the way back. Berger. Off the backboard, Jones, no! Box out of the rebound. Haley Jones just rushed that shot. Odyssey Sims makes contact with Jones, and the foul is on Haley Jones, who is trying to keep it to herself. <laughs> She's like, I know, I know. What's it trying to? Ooh. Ooh. It's a little body. She bumped her a little bit. <laughs> and Odyssey was like, get off of me. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that Lexi didn't challenge that one. A reminder, you get two challenges, one in the first 38 minutes and one in the final two. So each team has one of those left. Sims connects. Now six of seven at the free throw line tonight. Odyssey Sims, clutch. The top scorer on the leaderboard returning to AU from last year with some timely makes. It's a one possession game with 41.6 to go. 
has been a lot of fun and great effort by Team Hall. They're playing with urgency, 0-1 start, just 57 points as a group, and they are playing with so much energy and poise to get back in this game. Lexi Hall, Cheryl Swoops, has absolutely come alive, and her energy has rubbed off on her teammates. Yeah, Lexi Hall is the Lexi Hall that we all have grown to love. She has just found a way to get it done this fourth quarter. And if I'm Team Hall right now, you don't necessarily have to go for a three. 41 seconds, you're only down by three. And the way they're crashing the offensive boards, I'm going to take the best shot available and crash the offensive glass. And they have a ton of offensive boards tonight, 15 to 9, the edge in that category. They have knocked down the three tonight, 43%, 9 of 21, two for Berger, two for Teresa Plaisance, who has her first career AU double-double with 14 points and 10 rebounds. got to have the ball in Grace Berger's hands. Let her create, run something with Lexi Hall, Teresa Plaisance. If TB gets, TP gets a wide open three, I don't mind her taking it. Team Hall leads the quarter by seven. If they can pull it off and win this game, 300 points. When you include the 180 game win points, 30 seconds, shot clock 15, down three. They're taking time here. Plaisance. Hits Hull, first time captain, six to shoot. They are taking a lot of time. Carson back to Hull, fires from deep. Contested three, shot clock violation. They used I mean, every ounce of the clock. Well, and so Team Sims playing them for the three. I'm not really sure why someone didn't put the ball on the floor and attack the basket. Because they were saying, we're not giving up a three. And there was plenty of time left for you to attack the basket, go for a two. If you don't get it, foul. But what you happen? We still got time. I mean, you tell me, you're the expert. The ball never touched the paint. No, ever. It's like passing around the three-point line. So either send somebody to cut through the paint, hit them with it. If you have it, take it. If not, kick it back out. Put it on the floor, penetrate, attack. But as long as you stand around the three-point line and you're passing it, you're playing right into the defense's hand and making it really easy for them to guard you. Sims missed the first. So that second one, crucial to put this one in two possession lead territory for Team Sims. Odyssey Sims up to 14, seven assists, five boards. Eight of 10 at the free throw line, 30 second timeout. Lexi Hull, 24 points. Two away, by the way, from her new career high at AU, which is 26. That would tie her career high. But Lexi, Le Le Lexi Hull uncovered why, why she has got the capability as a captain. And maybe, Cheryl, maybe it's because she was Defensive Player of the Year and made a lot of hustle plays and put too much pressure on herself as a captain. And now she's settled in. That now she's like, I'm going to take the shots now, too, and be a little more selfish. You, you know, that's the type of player Lexi is. I think she was so worried and concerned about getting her teammates involved versus going and doing what she does. And she does so many things. She scores the ball. She defends. She rebounds. They just needed her to do a little bit of more of that in game one. But she definitely brought it today. Grace Berger swings it back, plays on with six, fires. Too strong, Jones tips, two seconds. Stolen away, and Team Sims prevails. They hold on to improve to 2-0 in week one. 92-88, Team Hall does win the quarter. So 120 points to Team Hall, that's massive because the third quarter ended up tied, so it carried over. But you want that 180 with the overall victory. And Team Sims, they've got two 180-point outings for each individual. They yeah. win 92-88. Yeah, Te Team Sims was just determined to win this game. And defensively, the last play of the game, they were everywhere denying passes. Odyssey out on Berger, pressure in the ball, switching everything. Burrell on Berger, not giving her a lot of light. Bashar Graves out on TP, and that one even had a chance to go in. 
Haley Jones came up with the offensive rebound but couldn't hold on to it. And Team Sims walks out with a W going 2-0 into our game tomorrow. Team Photo. And they didn't win the quarter, so credit to Team Hall. Th those are a couple of big quarter wins because they only had one quarter win. Mm -hmm. Getting into the uh, halftime session. So they, just like that, pick up two of them. So three quarter wins for Team Hall, just one quarter win for Team Sims. They had two quarter wins, I beg your pardon. Team Sims with two quarter wins and two quarter wins for Team Hall. So they split that, just like we saw in our first game of the doubleheader. Kirsten Bell with her sixth 20-point outing of her AU career. 23, 9 of 12 shooting, 3 of 5 from deep, 4 board, standing by with Ari. We're here with Kirsten Bell, who has her sixth 20-point performance. Uh, what opens up for you, for you to be able to perform the way you do? Um, really just moving without the ball. Um, I think that I'm really good off the ball. Um, and when the ball gets in my hand, I try to make good plays, uh, decisions for the team. And that's what I did today. I played terrible my first game here. So I had to step up this game. You know, we talked about Odyssey and her road to redemption. But, you know, you just said you played terrible and then you turned it around. What turned around for you? Um, my mindset, uh, moving on to the next. Angel, she's very heavy on next play, next shot. Uh, and so that helped me a lot. Um, and so going into my recovery, I just thought, like, you know, next game. Do better. That's it. I love how you mentioned a super vet in the game, but you know, she's her first year at AU. Uh, what did you tell her going into it about what's different about AU versus the WNBA? Um, I mean, it's the same. It's, basketball is the same. Um, play the game the right way and good things will come to you. Um, and I think really just her coming into this uh, as a vet, I think she get, get picks it up fast um, and I think she's getting the hang of it and she's very good vet that we need. Um, very good uh, local uh, vocal leader um, and I think her being here uh, is helping a lot of us. Speaking of the hanging of it, you got the hang of it, so I'm gonna let you go celebrate. Ah, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, I appreciate it. Back to you all. Kirsten Bell, one of four players in double figures tonight for Team Sims. They were tremendous and tenacious getting out on the break. They scored 32 points off of turnovers. Once again, our final score, Team Sims.